Hello, Mama Llamas, how you doing? Go ahead and grab your iced coffee and your warm fuzzy blanket because you're about to meet my legacy founder. And I'm just gonna go out and say it, okay? If you have never simped for anyone, if you have never simped for a human being, you're literally about to fall in love with this woman. I kid you not. I literally kid you not. This is the lovely Miss Antonia Mendez. And before I get into her very detailed backstory, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm very excited for this new Legacy LP. Like, literally beyond words. Because before I started doing YouTube, my whole, like, gameplay strategy or whatever, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the way I played my game is is um, I would do like family and like realistic gameplay with a lot of storyline driven behind it and I had this one family that I started last year I think October 2019 I believe and that was the only family that I played until I just started my YouTube channel because I was just so invested in like the backstory and what I would do was the two sims I started out with they had four children and I would do rotational gameplay. So I would switch between the four children's lives like every sim week and they all had their different backstories, you know, different drama, stuff like that. I literally live for drama, so. But anyways, sorry, <laughs> my whole point just kind of slipped from my head. Um, I haven't played that family since I started this channel because I deleted all my CC and I had a crap ton of CC and they were wearing a crap ton of my CC, so I didn't want to go through the hassle of like finding their CC again and whatever. So I just kind of laid them to rest. You know, I've been playing them for almost a year now, so it's kind of like, you know, I kind of want to move on to something new. And of course, I will keep the 100 baby challenge going. Of course, I wouldn't start it and then be like, psych, like the two baby challenge. Yay, I did it. <laughs> but yes, this is Miss Antonia Mendez. And I have a pretty interesting backstory for her. You know, it's something I've never really done or thought about. I've never really had adoptive parents in my game or adoptive children. So this will be pretty interesting and pretty fun to play with, you know. So one night at around 10 p.m., Crystal Mendez was coming home from her job at a local restaurant. You know, nothing too fancy, a little diner. And back then, it was pretty safe um, where she lived. She lived in Pendleton Bay, so she definitely lived in a safer area. But while she was walking home, she heard a distant cry. And to her, it sounded like a cat, but, you know, she just wanted to make sure, you know, even if it was a cat, she was going to take this poor baby home because it sounded like, you know, it was going crazy. So she kept getting closer and closer to the noise, and it was actually coming from a trash can, and she was like, what kind of sick person would put a little baby kitten or cat in a trash can? So she got closer to it, and she opened it up, and there was a little baby just sitting there staring at her crying uh, looked like a newborn probably like five weeks you know at the most and of course she was like you know i can't let this child sit here in this trash can all alone i need i need to take it home and so she took it home you know figured out that it was a baby girl and she went out and bought formula for the night and stuff but obviously in the morning she really wanted to find this little girl's parents because you know who would put a little baby in a trash can and probably left there to die. Like, stuff like that is no accident. You know, she was put there intentionally. And so, in the morning, uh, keep in mind, Crystal was married to uh, Mr. Marco Mendez, and the two of them went in the morning to the local police station to figure out, you know, who this baby girl was and who her parents were and what exactly was going on, but unfortunately, the police could not do anything. She was DNA tested, but they couldn't find, you know, any parents in the database. So Crystal and Marco decided to take in the little girl on their own. They were a newlywed Hispanic couple who had been trying so hard for so long to have a child on their own. So the fact that, you know, they found this little girl by fate, you know, they thought of it as a, you know, gift from God, a blessing. And of course, they decided to name her Antonia. However, a few years after they found Antonia, they did get 
lucky and have another baby girl named Mariella. And in terms of how close they were, Antonia and Mariella, you could not tell that they were adopted sisters. They were joined at the hip. They would do everything and anything together. And it's still true to this day. Antonia is about 23, 24, and Mariella is probably about 19 or 20 right now. I truly think that all of Antonia's life, uh, she really wanted to know why she was left in a trash can, who her parents were, and how much she mean to them because of course she sees herself as Marco and Crystal's daughter like they are her parents you know she loves them endlessly but she does want to know and I think throughout this LP it will be her kind of discovering herself you know where she's from and possibly who her parents were but with all that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the video and do look forward to this LP I just absolutely cannot wait to see her life unfold before our eyes but don't forget to to like the video let me know what you guys think and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video and as always subscribe for more sims 4 videos bye y'all